Today, we're going to be checking out all of the latest Season 6 memes, funny moments, and secrets discovered thanks to the Fortnite subreddit, which include how to gain access to the secret TNT in a vault located on the new map, awesome ideas that could be coming later this season, and tons more stuff. If you're enjoying the season so far, give the video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, hit subscribe and turn notifications on to stay updated with everything Season 6 related as the season progresses. Me hoping to get a win on the first day, skill-based matchmaking being reset, me getting destroyed by better players. You know what? I don't know what happens with skill-based matchmaking when a new season starts, but I'm finding the lobby to be ridiculously sweaty. What about you guys? Have you got a win yet? Have you earned this awesome season six umbrella? Let me know. Come on, Epic. Epic putting Neymar in the battle pass. Me who wanted the new seven member. I can't lie. I've seen overwhelming support for the foundation, the seven member, the leader, in fact, to be the secret skin. He is not. Neymar is. I still have no idea how they'll introduce Neymar into the Fortnite story, but I'm sure Epic could do it in a clever Way. Don't worry, guys. Though I can't lie, I too would have preferred the seven member. Ha! Kratos, literally a powerful demigod, fighting a stack of pancakes. Come on, Team Pancakes, I believe in you. Guys, I have some great news. When Peely was unfortunately destroyed in the intro cinematic, the good news is all of Peely's banana juice started to animate in the same way that you respawn on the next gen version of Fortnite, which means he's coming back. He is not dead. He was just eliminated temporarily. Whew, I thought Peely was gone. Talking about Peely, the new Gladiator Peely's in the Fortnite item, so we can pick it up right now before it goes. Thank you everyone for using code Alia. Pop it into the store. It goes every two weeks, and you can get a shout out at my videos just like these guys. Now, this is dedication. This guy has dabbed and taken a picture from all the way back in season four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four. Bye. Wait, he hasn't done six yet. I, pre I presume he's dabbing right now in season six. Do not worry. Now, this is such a good idea. Hey, Epic, can we please craft a chug jug? For example, out of biggies and med kits. So imagine you can take stuff and turn it into other things beyond just like the bows and like side grading, upgrading weapons. A med kit, a big pot into a chug jug. I think you'd probably need a few big pots, but this is a 10 out of 10 idea. What do you reckon, guys? I love it. Guys, this is a really cool cool theory. Out of the seven characters we know so far, the visitor, Paradigm, the scientist, and the foundation who's the leader, there's a theory going around that Geno, who is mentioned by Jonesy to stop the foundation from basically bashing his head in, and potentially the sisters are the other characters to make up the seven. My theory that was it was potentially the people behind the imagined order that were the sisters and Geno, but making up the seven with these characters is a possibility as well. I'll be keeping an eye on this theory and seeing if it comes true. I wonder if I can catch signal. Finally, a 7G tower. Ignore the fact that the primal season means we've gone back in time. They had 7G internet signal back then. 1 million megabytes up and down on your mobile phone. How crazy is that? This is a really cool piece of lore. Obviously, with a load of new NPCs on the map, there's a load of extra text to take a look at. We always wondered how Jules was related to Midas, and this confirms this. Were you around during my dad's whole device thing? I can't keep track. So Jules is Midas's daughter. We weren't sure if it was his wife, his cousin, his sister, who knows, but it is now confirmed how they are related. Very interesting. Oh my gosh, look at this. Why is no one noticing Doggo Getting a hundred kicks from Chun Li. Look at poor Doggo. He's getting absolutely battered. Photos taken moments before disaster. <laughs> Poor Bailey, what has he ever done to deserve being blown up? Oh, this is a great spot. If you didn't know, Fishy is the first person to see Master Chief entering the Fortnite map. And then in the trailer, him and Master Chief are fighting side by side. And then Fishy's going berserk with an LMG. I knew someone would do this with this emote. It's like the ultimate bullet avoiding emote in the game. Dude, he's from the Matrix. I mean, he got hit a little bit, but this is incredible. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, it, it worked. For, it worked for a while, guys, and then the sweat came about. Dude, this person's wolf got the win for him. Look! Oh my gosh, he's debagging the enemy as well. I can't lie, I've never had my wolf do much damage to anyone. Imagine a wolf getting you your victory royale in season six. Amazing. Oh, I never thought of this. It's the first time ever Salty Springs has been completely removed from the map. We've had Salty Towers, we've had Salty Springs, and now it's a primal version of Tilted. Salty Springs is gone, please! Fortnite, we need it back. Return to default. It's like the progression of a Fortnite player. 
Oh my gosh. Now, something I want to cover quickly, if you guys haven't seen, I actually posted this over my official TikTok at Alie, where I post loads of TikToks. Over there, I showed with you guys, and I shared it in a video recently too, the awesome new secret vault that's on the map right now. However, when going over to the comment section of my TikTok, a lot of you guys said you can actually open the vault. Now, when I tried it, it didn't work, but I'm going to try it again and see if we can get this thing open for you guys and open the season six secret vault. Head over to just the right hand side of Catty Corner, which is where the giant bunker door is. We're not heading in there though. We're actually going to be going ahead, following this butterfly all the way into here. This is where the secret door is. Thing is, you can't get into the vault, but handily enough, there are these kaboom boxes over here. Chuck them down. I'm going to shoot, put that in there. Oh my gosh. Apparently this opens it. And then you can go ahead and interact with it. Oh, it even blows the door off. Jeez. Season six secret vault is open. I've seen a lot of people talk about this. Jonesy lands in the bush, takes 99 damage, which means he has to be on one HP, maybe 100 shield if he's got any on, and then gets smacked in the face a million times by the foundation and doesn't lose a single piece of HP. Jonesy sounds OP to me. Oh, this is such a good spot, and I'll probably mention it in another video because it's just such a good find. Look at the armor piece that Jonesy he has in his arm. It is the exact same armor piece that the Dire skin had in Chapter 1 Season 6. I've mentioned how the headband's the same. A lot of people say that matches up with the Street Fighter skin. Fair enough. But, I mean, this armor looks very similar to... I'm telling you, it's got to be a link. Don't shoot the pink creatures. Yeah, if you haven't seen yet, these cuddlefish are really strong and weird and annoying. If you see them, <laughs> they'll stick on you, do 35 damage, ruin your vision. They're pretty OP. The bad ending. What a slap he created. It's, he's going he's gonna to die from falling damage. <laughs> Bro, that looked great. That looked real. Introducing Sage Druggy 3.0. From the good old squatting dog. Dude, look how many of these things are on his car. You know this is, this is going to be OP. Wait. Ooh. We did it. Dude, that's so <laughs> OP. <gasps> we built the butter barn, guys. One like equals one prayer for the poor butter barn. Only around for one season and then gone. Peely over the years, look at this. He's got a little smile, then he goes a little bit more serious, and now he's just sad. <gasps> poor Peely. The Fortnite Island is taking a toll on him. Dude, look at this. Small attention to detail. The Jump 23 version of Jonesy is the armband on his arm. And then the next one, he takes it off and put it on his head, but he's got, like, no tan where the armband used to be. That is some great attention to detail. Easy way to kill Spy Gardens, bro. Tell me, because these things are so annoying. Oh, oh my. Me Maker Junior, that was incredible. I'm using that myself. Oh, wait, what? The beanbag is Bailey. We turned Bailey into a beanbag, the poor thing. Oh my gosh, I'm so behind this. Epic, please bring back the old number stats. Bars don't tell you. So this is what we used to see. We knew exactly how much damage everything was doing. And now it's just bars. I don't know what bars mean. I honestly hate this change and I really hope they revert it. The history of the chapter two map. Which one of these is your favorite? Fortnite, bro, as if the chapter two map dates back all the way to 2019. We've been on this map for ages now. Season two, I think season two was the best one ever. All the bosses, all of the new stuff on the edges. The flood was pretty cool too, don't get me wrong. But all of the agents and all of the bosses, the key cards, the vaults, the mythics, which is incredible in chapter two, season two. The Iron Man Marvel crossover was awesome as well. All of the sand added in. I didn't think the sand and would like go as quickly as it did. But hey, the future of the Fortnite map, it's still going to change a lot more. Okay, gang, let's see who the foundation really is. Let's reveal his mask. It's the rock. That's right, guys. If you want to see the theory and the explanation as to why the foundation is the rock, believe it or not, that video is on screen now. Go over to watch all of the secrets and tons of other season six awesomeness. Click your favorite now. Head on over there. Thanks for watching.